Moving on, we get some good news for people, especially American, good news for Americans, uh, good news for American men, especially, but uh, some American women will benefit from this too. Former Green Beret or Green Beret, fucking Tim Kennedy, UFC fighter, he was in Ranger Up. Uh, here's a, a picture of the dude, but you'll see him when we go, actually, no, yeah, you'll see him when we go into the um, thing, if not... You can look him up. He's a form, former Green Parade. He was in the movie Ranger Up. Uh, he, he's finding Hitler. Uh, a couple other things. Uh, this dude is the abs an absolute beast. He's the absolute man. Um, I was uh, what, listening to the Order of the Man podcast, and he was telling a, a, a story about how they were teaching him how to teach people to be like insurgents and, and rebellions and fight rebellions and, and, and become men for their freedoms. And he was like, how do I apply that to home? And, and help Americans with it and he figured it out and he started to open a school so this is like this is a black rifle coffee blog um so it's not like legit a legitimate news site <clears throat> but it is can um like real I heard the the man himself could speak it Women. like I, I watched him talk about it with Ryan Mickler on the Order Man podcast and uh if you like coffee black rifle coffee and a free plug for those guys help other help out my fellow veterans um but anyways let's get into this article so yeah, there he is tim kennedy fucking living weapon tim kennedy is opening a private school here's how it will work uh the same bet butterflies in your stomach as you're walking off the helicopter the same anxiety excitement heart racing you're confident in who you are and how you've been prepared but you can't help but have the swelling and shortness of breath in your chest of i don't know what's coming the octagon gate closes, the helicopter lifts up. Very, very similar feelings and may approach to those things may have been similar. Ah, I feel like my dog's like, I've been brushing my dog and her ears flying around everywhere. Those things have been very similar when I'm walking toward the cage or when I'm walking toward the helicopter. I know that all of the preparation I've done is the right preparation. Husband, father, Green Beret, ultimate competitor, businessman. It's It all began as a necessary survival technique. Tim Kennedy began fighting around the age of seven and hasn't tapped out yet. There was a literal a game called Throw Tim in the Pool, Kennedy said in a recent interview with Coffee or Die magazine. Really? Coffee or Die magazine? Okay, so, okay, so they have a magazine. Regarding growing up with the giant older brother, Tim is playing with G.I. Joe's. Cool, throw him in the pool. Tim is like trying to melt ants with his magnifying glass. Cool, throw him in the pool. Uh, but my game later changed around the time I turned seven. They're like, oh, shit, this guy just bit my finger off. He said, my parents put me in martial arts so I wouldn't go to prison. That's how winning is done. <laughs> We're all glad they did, bro. We're all glad they did. Fast forward 34 years and Kennedy is still fighting, but his career as a fighter is merely a fraction of who he is. On top of being a U.S. Army Special Forces NCO in the 19th Special Forces Group, Kennedy owns five businesses. There is Ranger Up. Oh, he owns Ranger Up? That's how winning is done. I didn't know that. So there's Ranger Up, the military lifestyle company that sells everything from apparel to mugs and stickers. The Whoopie Shoes was inspired by military's most piece of issue equipment. The shoes are designed for all things. Military, special operations, airborne operations, and have the lip to hook on scuba fins. Oh, that's funny. Sheepdog Response is Kennedy's training company based out of Austin, Texas, that specializes in defense tactics, law enforcement, and military training, offering 24 courses a year. In addition, he is a security consultant company and a government contract and marketing firm. He does one manage to do so much. Tim, time management is always hard. Kennedy said the hardest thing is being an entrepreneur and being a good, good husband and father. Those have to be my top priorities for how I allocate my time. Winning. In just three short months, Kennedy will be launching yet another business, another training program, so to speak. But the audience is a little smaller in stature. I'm starting a kid's school. Nice. This is the one that we came here to talk about. This is going to be fucking huge. Children in the first grade through sixth grade have the opportunity to attend Kennedy's private school, a 16,000 square foot building equipped with a giant recreation room and even a ship. We have a full blown pirate ship that has cannons, like real cannons on there. He said, these kids are going to lose their ever living minds. The idea came from Kennedy's own observations of public school system, which he called heartbreaking. And he's recently taken his children out of public schools. Winning. 
As you may expect, Kennedy School is less than traditional sitting at a desk all day and more like do some multiplication and then get moving. It's not unique because they've done it for thousands of years, but it's been lost in the last hundred, he said. I don't know what happened where you think you can take a seven-year-old boy and put him in a chair for seven hours and think he's going to learn anything. Instead of having, he, and he's fucking absolutely right, like, uh... He's just absolutely right. Instead of having te I, I learned by doing after the fact, like it is what it is. Instead of having teachers stand in front of the class presenting information, Kennedy School will take a more Socratic approach. My job and all the guides jobs are to make kids want to find out the answers and be able to ask the questions to get the solution. He said, I'm not there to tell them how to do it. And neither are the other, any other teachers. The school will provide a well-rounded approach to learning. Time will be spent in the classroom to master things like multiplication and division. But once that's over, the students will get up and go play. Another important aspect of childhood growth, the joy of learning and exploration. Yeah. So they, they, the recesses are being reduced to public schools. Uh, hell, uh, 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 art, music, all these creative extracurricular activities are being cut, and you can't do anything with the science and shit if you're not fucking inspired with your creativity and imagination by the other the other stuff. So I'm 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 on board with this. The joy of learning and exploration. I think there's something being really lost. Kennedy said it's been a tragic to see all these kids fail and be on different prescription drugs for their energy. That Kennedy isn't alone in his observations. Numerous studies and physicians suggest that playtime is just as important as classroom time. Play has been proven to increase language skills, promote positive relationships, support emotional health, and increase physical health. You're not going to just read Harry Potter. You're going to go to a wood shop and make your favorite wand. Pick up your wand. Pick up your color. Pick your color of it. He said you're going to present your wand. More importantly, you're going to have to tell me what it is, why it's there, and structurally what it's capable of. Welcome to first grade. The that is fucking awesome. This is alternately teacher's method isn't the only thing that will set Kennedy School apart from the rest. In America, gym class is largely underfunded. In fact, I mean, I I I, I agree. The median budget for physical education in U.S. schools is only seven hundred and sixty-four dollars per year. Despite raising childhood obesity rates, academics are taking priority in schools, and when cuts are needed, physical education is one of the first things to go. Winning. No. But that won't be a concern at Kennedy's future students. The school will be equipped with a giant recreation room and a full obstacle course molded after the Army's infamous Darby, the infamous Darby Queen and Nasty Nick courses. All of the most loved military obstacles from the Weaver to the Jacob's Ladder will be there. Nice. The school will initially start with three grades and serve 15 kids per grade. Eventually, the county hopes to expand capacity and enroll 300 kids. Scholarships for military and law enforcement families will also be available. He hopes to do his part in improving the education system, and his main goal is to see child, children flourish to, to have a, and to have a great America. Like, this is, I'm with you. This is why we're doing what we're doing here, my man. And that's why we're, we're sharing this out for you. I heard that the podcast and i had to share this information out there i had to spread the word because th this is leading the way bro and and i you know just you, you take it to a whole nother level i grew up in an era where i put my hand over my heart and said the pledge of allegiance to flag every single morning and you know learn my love of my country kennedy said we're going full commitment in making sure that we're going to rise a whole bunch of young patriots and yeah i grew up where we started doing that and then we stopped doing that and it like it can it i just it destroys me inside i can't really even speak about it and it's fucking sad winning no but i mean that's it is what it is tim kennedy leading the way and getting it done if you have a boy you might want to try and get them in that uh, if you have a kid you might want to try and get them in his school i'm just fucking saying